So Nancy and Marcy, we're gonna start of course with our usual measurements. Um, really this BC kind of takes up the whole space. If we wanna kind of sketch him out, right? Like he kind of comes all the way over here. Oh, his ear comes out a little bit past up past here. Let's say he comes all the way here and all the way here, right? So whatever you're gonna sketch with, and and then and then what I want to do is divide his face down the middle. Now, can you notice that this eye is bigger than this eye? Can you see yeah. that? And notice that it's slightly turned down. So that means the halfway point of his face is probably about here. Oops. Yep. And it's not you just need to music. Um, oh, it's a, I'm in a coffee shop that oh, my really? executive director runs because I am oh, at a board oh, retreat. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm, at a, I'm, at a poor, I'm, I'm at a Portland Open Studios board retreat. I love retreat. that. Step out of the box, Leah. Step exactly. out of the box. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, Osiris. How are you? <laughs> I'm tired, you guys, but I'm I back. Bet you Me are. Too. I bet you are. How is Saatchi in, how is Saatchi in Houston? Well, I kept everyone entertained because no one sold a lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's. I don't Sachi think of those... did, they did not bring the collectors and the art people. They promised that most of the people there were people that were bored. It was hot outside. They needed a drink, and they went inside to look at art. You could tell they didn't know anything about art. Right. Um, even the under five hundred dollars section did not do well. Yeah. Uh, what I did come away with, I, I really, if you guys look online, I'm on the Sachi promo because I danced the whole time. My back was in so much pain right. and I was in so much pain from standing for four and five hours a day for four days that I started dancing because that's what I'm, I am. I'm a dancer. So I just started dancing because I started doing that. It brought everyone's spirits up. <clears throat> because a lot of the artists spent their last money going there. People drove cross country. People right. flew from all over the world to come there. And we didn't sell anything, but the contacts that I made are invaluable. I heard, that's what I've heard about that. It was show. worth going for that. Yeah. yeah, that's what I've heard about that show. Yeah, that, I mean, that show is not about selling. <clears throat> You're not going to sell it's not, there. Not, it's not, not the first, I think the first time you're there, unless you already have a base of people you sell to. Well, and then what's not, the it's point about of bringing content. them to Saatchi? You might as well just exactly. sell to them on your own. Exactly. Right? Like, the whole point exactly. of it is to get new, exactly. to generate new. But I got invited back in. Uh, I don't ever have to worry about getting any of their art festivals. I'm their entertainment, so they won't ever deny me again. Good. And then, they better not. And then, yeah. And then, but I did. Uh, one of the market centers there thought my work would be good for designers because of how that's the kind of work I do. So they invited me back in June, and then I couldn't go, so they want me back in January. Well, excellent. And it's not a fair. It's not on the floor. It's some kind right. of private showing or something. Now that's what you want. That's what that's you what want. I want. That's what you want. Congratulations. You got what you want. And Sachi will but start playing tired. you up more on the, what I hear is Sachi will start playing you up more on their site. So that's important too. Yeah. Um, well, um, congratulations. We want to hear more about Thank it. you okay. everyone for allowing me that. Oh my God. We want, to, we want to hear more. I just, let me just get everybody started um, so that we have our basic measurements in. So as usual, I've taken, and I'll take a picture of this in a second. I've, I've located the halfway point of the face, which is not the halfway point of the beast, right? Definitely not. It's a little, it's a bit to the left. If I was gonna find this halfway point, it's about, if I was gonna find the halfway, yeah. It's about this far to the left of the halfway point. But the most important thing, we're gonna find our vertical distances first. So I'm finding, one, two. I've got my quarter points. I'll take a picture of this so you guys can see this a little bit better. Quarter points. 
<laughs> this is a sorry somebody this is a coffee shop which has a lot of my work up in it and so somebody just waved over to tell me they liked it <laughs> wow <laughs> it's really charming um uh so we've got our halfway points here and then if i'm gonna look at how wide this is versus how high i can see that the width is about here so that little circle, this isn't showing very well. Sorry, can you repeat that, Leah? The width at the halfway point mm -hmm. is just up past your quarter point. Let me, I'm just looking to see if I have another thing I can find that can make this more visible. Hold on. Yeah, I see. Can you tell me? Hang on one second. Okay. So I'd say it's about here. here. Like a picture of this so you guys can really see it. At the halfway point. So you get your halfway point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, then, so the first thing, I'll walk you through getting these first measurements. Hang on just a second. I want to take a picture of this. Your picture. I know my, um, I know this looks a little bit slanted. Uh, my line is slightly slanted, but don't worry about that so much that heights and weight distances can work. That's so when nice. I'm over here, I'm gonna move this here. Right. Hey, Lee. Hmm? Okay, sorry, but can you do the proportions? Um, on I'm gonna the walk you through them right now here. Okay, I'm going to walk you. So you now have them on your WhatsApp, right? So now I'm going to find on my paper here, I'm going to give myself a vertical distance of about this from here to the bottom of the paper. It's a bit to the left. So here's my top. Here's my bottom. And then I'm going to find my halfway point. Here. Two. And more like here. Let's do this. So there's half, right? And then I'm going to divide each half and half to find my quarters. Mm -hmm. Quarter. Quarter. So that's my first step. Mm -hmm. My second step is that at about here, where I've got my stars, so probably almost halfway between that first quarter. This is going to be my middle distance from here down to here. I don't have, so I'm just literally, I found my, so this distance is going to be about this high. Okay, so just going like this. Yeah, sorry, it's a little bit awkward today. I'm going to double check that now that I'm here. I'm going to check that. Yes, that way. And then the other thing I observed about this, and I'll show you this in a second, is that this two, three is about <clears throat> one third of the dis of the of the middle the, the, the middle distance. So once I find this one, two, three. Okay, I realize I have to move my, I have to move my line over just a little bit. Let's go. 
I noticed that this middle distance, this line is about at the one third point. It's about here. One, two, three. About here. So see how I'm just moving my line over a little bit? Yeah, moving it to the right. Yeah, just to the right. So that's your beginning. And then of course you can just chop it up on the top here. And on the bottom, it's just naturally happening. And then here, I'm gonna put this here. I know it's a little tricky to see. I'll demonstrate it. And then I'll have you guys go at it, right? Then of course, we're gonna be doing this, these outer lines. His ear kind of pokes up a little bit over here. Uh, Sandra is absolutely right. This is a brown lemur, not a meerkat. <laughs> we love to do a meerkat. I would love to do a meerkat. She showed a picture of a meerkat and it was so cute and funny. It just yeah, had the they, best they, expression. They're, they're very organized, you know, they have like babysitters. They have wow. uh, watches. Yeah. What's a meerkat? What's a meerkat? It okay, I'm going to send you a picture. Kind of hairy oh. desert. Oh, wait, they're Sandra, can you put that? Can you put it up here? I'll add you to the spotlight. Put it up. Yep. I, it made me laugh so hard when I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> this is a meerkat. <laughs> oh, I've always been scared of those. Oh no, they're really small and really so cute. incredibly cute. I know, but they look was, like they remind me of uh, what are those things? Fur, fur, furrers, fur, fur. What are they? Furrers or look, they stand like this. Uh uh. Mm -mm. God, they're adorable. There was a, that would scare me to death. I'd be there running. There was a TV program <laughs> called Meerkat Mana, and it was a film in South Africa. There are several seasons of it, and it follows this group, you know, with a male and a female. They've been named, and they filmed them, and it was so fantastic. Meerkat Mana. Highly recommend. Meerkat Mana. They remind me of ferrets. That's what I was trying to think of. They are. I think they're probably related. Yeah, they scare they're me. South Africa. Ooh, they move real fast. <laughs> they move fast. They're very sweet, so they're organized. They stand up. They're, they have sentinels. Oh. Um, they have a, um, you know, the head female, the head male. They have babies with uh, babysitters. They have, they go wow. foraging together. So they're very intelligent, is what you're trying to say. <laughs> I mean, they are. They're very softly organized. I have a visitor for my vanity. I'll be back. I tell you, I find that very interesting. So I also sent you, you guys, kind of the basic outline. So when you're done, go ahead and send that over. It's a little tricky, the ear placement, the shapes. Um, so yes, when you're done, send over that outside shapes. Don't try to put the eyes in, don't try to put anything internal, unless of course you're already working. Bettina, how's it going for you? Are you just on, you're just on it? I was you gonna just to... wait till you get everyone started then send you mine and have you look at it. Send it over. Okay. I think, I feel like I remember you got pretty far on this one. I think even farther than I did. Let's see. Oh yeah, you did, you did. So now it's just a question of, okay, for me. So there's some work you could do around the nose, the lights and darks of the nose. Look at the shapes, right? Really strongly. Here. You got you got partly there. So try and place that nose. Remember the nose kind of comes up a little bit more on this side and kind of comes out a little bit more here. Um, 
I like how the eyes are looking. I like how this is starting to happen. So there's just a lot more texture in the body that you want to start working. So it looks a little smoother. Also, I see- How do you, how do you approach the, the darkness in that underneath the white patch, right? You just like, darken it. You just literally you, darken you it. You try to create that texture with the- Which darkness? Which? Well, it, it almost- no no like underneath that big white patch on his chest here in the lower right hand corner here where here. it almost looks like a calico cat fur well it's interesting you don't try it once again you don't try to get every bit you work on the areas where this kind of intersects with that okay right right but also i see there's kind of a funny how come you why is your guy going you have your guys shaped in a way that i don't really did i get maybe i did this in a different maybe i maybe i blew up this in a different way i might have printed this in a different way last week let me look hold on i think i did my proportion differently and you told me to draw a I, box somehow so well, i mean but in I'm other words i could why make his... your thing is coming down you have your thing coming down like this Right. And I have him going out like that. But maybe it has to do with how I did the source last week. Hang on. I don't think so. That was just you doing that? Here, hold on. Let me see. So if you I look can... at where his ear comes down, I my ear, if you draw down from the ear, mm -hmm. my ear's not is sticking out. Because you didn't draw the body out here. What? Because you didn't draw the body out like this. So the body really ends in this line here. Yeah. And you instead brought it down. So I wonder if the best thing for you to do. Yeah. The reason the ear isn't sticking out is that you didn't bring the body out. So you, let's see, hold on. I'm going to check. And the jowl is out too far too then. Yep. Yep. Everything is out too far. So this yeah. is what you're going to do you're going to correct the reason you're having problems all these problems right on that side is that you don't have this shape right i mean he's cute as hell don't get me wrong <laughs> but what you want to do is you're going to have to erase mm -hmm. what you want to do is focus on this negative shape right so what i would do is erase out this negative shape Right, so kind of mush, mush out everything on this side. And notice as well, we wanna be like really technical about it. Here's where the second third is. Here's the first third, second third, third third. So mm. the eye really lines up. Here, so hold on, I'm checking your proportions just to see kind of. Yeah, yeah. So on this side, and hold on one, your eye is in the right place. So I think one, two, three. Yep. Eye is in the right place. So what you want to do is erase everything back here and redraw it with this little carved out space. So the body ends here at the halfway point, and then there's this dip in, right? Everything else is in the right place. So you'll erase the jowl, right? Because the jowl really starts, stops about here. Yep. Yeah. So try that reshaping and see what happens. Is my um, ear in the wrong place or is the ear okay? Yeah, your ear is in the wrong place. Everything from here back is too squished. So erase everything from here back and recreate this shape, thinking about this negative space. Okay. Just erase it because it's all white back here, right? right. That'll help give you the shape. Um, let's see, Nancy, I'm going to check. Okay. Uh, I, Versus X. I changed mine a, a little bit, Leah, since. I sent it. But you know what? Proportions are great. Proportions are great. So this ear is a funny thing. Yeah. As you see, did you, did you fix the shape of the ear? 
Well, not yet, but I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. So what I want you to do is I'll tell you the same thing. And in fact, for you guys, turn your, both of you, turn your drawing upside down and work on within this two thirds, right? This little upper box here, you're going to work on creating this shape. So the ear is kind of more straight. Right. And down. But that's okay. Listen, it is really normal to try and make that a poppy out ear, right? That's what we're used to. That's what we're kind of thinking about. Um, we all fought with this subject. And in fact, when I'm looking at it here, you can see here, I only kind of partially got it. I probably have to do that a little bit myself. But in fact, I kind of went in and right, really pushed. This the light of this space to help me shape that outer space. So often this is a great example of how using your negative space helps you to get body parts that are sticking out because otherwise it's really hard. It's really hard to guess. Uh, it's not an easy job. Um, it's because we exaggerate the size of things. So wait a minute, How, where's Sandra? Did she pop off? Oh, she popped off to do her thing. She'll come back. Oh, no, wait, there she is. I have her up here. <laughs> Hello, my brain is like mush. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so one, two, three. Marcy, I think you're, you've, got your, you're, you've got your guy coming back. To, you've extended here, one, two, three, hold on. I think you're too wide, eh, maybe not. It seems too wide to me. Bring it in just a little bit on this side. Which side? The right side? The, well, turn it upside down because you could probably use the upside down at this point too. Um, and also the reason it looks too wide is that you have him coming all the way out here so turn your, your thing upside down and you will see that he's coming all, you have him coming all the way out to the edge, but that's not where he is. He's like well in. This is like in this first third, he's like, well, look at this negative space. So really pay attention to the negative space. When you're drawing the lines, you're not just, this is a very easy drawing mistake to make. You've kind of got to think about the space next to where you're drawing as well as what you're drawing. Okay. And I mean, you can make these mistakes and sometimes it turns out okay. Like if you look at, um, if you look at, uh, 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 if you look at Bettina's drawing, it's really looking pretty good, even though she kind of fudged the body on this side. So it's not like you can't get away with it sometimes, but this is, if you're wanting to like push up your observation abilities, right? This is where you want, you want to get these shapes right. It's harder work, but it's worth it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Um, yeah. She did first and then she, um, yeah, I well, I think on this one, it's at an angle, but then on her drawing, it's straight. Mm -hmm. So. Hmm? Let me turn it up. 
Yeah, that's what she was saying about this ear. It's easy to make it too big because you. Uh, I'm not technically allowed to live stream in the cafe. I'm in the studio next door, but it, at some point I might give just a quick sweep, not saying anything to show you guys where I am. It's really neat. Uh, in the meantime, keep sending your stuff over. Why is it chewing? Hi, Sled. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Coming up all night. Hi, Sled. Here, hold on. I'll introduce you all. I'll put the thingy up. Hi, guys. Hi. See, dogs are gratifying in a way. Cats really are. Here you go. This is Snacks. She's like, here she is. Mm hmm <laughs> Patchouli, come here. Patchouli, oh, nope, she's like, I'm done. I'm doing things. Here's Snacks. You want to say hi, everybody? Say hi. Hi, Snacks. Hi, hey, Snacks. Snacks like in eat Snacks. Love dogs. <laughs> He's so cute. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. What kind she of dog? I mean, she's like a muddy a, mutt. She looks a little a bit mutt, like yeah. the RCA puppy, you know, with her dark yeah. hair. Let's see. The black and the white. Yeah, yeah, here, hold on, let's see. Come like on, a box see. Turn around and show them your beautiful face. Come here, come nah, here. Looks like a boxer. No. no, she's not a boxer. No, no. Yes. <laughs> he likes to have her butt rubbed. He likes the butt rubs. <laughs> you know dogs. There is no dog that doesn't. Doesn't like butt rubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. Hi, Chewy. Yeah, don't eat anything. Apparently she ate all her dog jerky in one setting and and threw up all night. Didn't she? She threw up all night. Oh, here's Patchouli. She's here. Here you go, baby. Oh, we're gonna go away now. Here we go. Now she's came over to say hello. Now she's checking other things out. Audrey, you don't know what kind of dog Snacks is, do you? She's a Detroit Dinga. She's a Detroit ding dong. <laughs> wow. She looks like every stray dog in Detroit. <laughs> I think she looks like the RCA puppy grown up. Kind of, yeah, a little bit. Oh, the RCA, oh, the logo. Remember with the little yeah. dot and yeah. the huh and the huh and the flank. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing? How are Good. these shapes coming along? Is it a little bit easier seeing it upside down? And by the way, for private students, I want you to know, if you buy a class, if you register for a class and pay for it, and you don't somehow make it to class, you are, you'll just totally come to the next one. I don't want you to pay for that. So never feel like you've lost that registration. Um, I have a big feeling, a strong feeling about not taking money for a service that is not provided. So, and this is a long game. Y'all are in this for the long game. So let's make this as manageable as possible. Okay. I like to make this as financially manageable as possible for everyone. That's very nice, Leah. Yeah, well, you know, I think it's a good way to do business just in general. So I, I want you to anticipate, you can do it, but like Nancy and Marcy tried and then there was no internet and probably a lot of other exciting things going on. <laughs> uh, so don't ever worry about that. You'll never lose your... You'll never pay, you'll never have to pay for a class you don't take. Thank you. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, uh, so it's great on, on this side, it looks good, Marcy. I'm turning it over to show you. Can you see, whoops, here. Can you, uh, can, uh, I can't really see, can you see that this side you need to bring in more? Marcy, can you see that? I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at it. Uh, yeah. See where I have my finger, see where yours. Oh, well, unless you didn't take the, unless you're, nope, yep, nope, yeah. So see this correction, this is correct, but look at how far in the face comes on this side. That's why your face looks too wide. All right, so bring it in even further. Okay. Bring this in, look at this shape. You need to have this shape next to the shape of the face. <clears throat> um, so this is the drawing difference, right? When you're drawing, and this is what I love about drawing, you are forced to think about everything. You are forced to plan way more because you've got to think about this space as well as this line. You have to think about this space. You have to think about all the things. Drawing kind of forces you into a, a more concentrated looking. Um, and observe that when you don't really pay attention, you'll pay attention to one thing, but you won't pay attention to the thing next to it. And that's what you got to kind of train yourself out of. Drawing is about jigsaw puzzle pieces and putting them together. It's like taking a car engine apart or putting together a quilt or putting together a room, right? All the pieces need to be kind of taken into, um, let's see. Uh, so Nancy, you're having the same issue. This doesn't come out farther than the edge. See that? Okay. This shape on this side. So this side looks great, but this side, and you could just take your eraser and erase it out because it's light or use the outline. So this side, you also need to bring your cheek in. The cheek does not come out beyond the edge and neither does the body. The body comes in as well. See how that, he has that kind of cute, because he's a little bit wider. He has that kind of cute little Japanese, by the way, the eyes look like they are in the right place. He's got that little cute, like Japanese wider little cat face animated, it's cute. Hey, what you doing in there? Nope, there's nothing in there that we can eat, nothing. It's not interesting at all. It smells good. I heard she ate all the things, too many things. Hey, Sonny. Diana, does Sunny ever eat too many things? I can see Sunny milling around behind you. <laughs> she, if she was allowed to, yeah. If she, oh, that's true, because she eats like she tears shit up. She, Here, let's see. She, let's see, Sunny. Okay, do you want to say hi, Sunny? <laughs> Sunny, hi, Sunny. Hi. Oh, so Look at beautiful. the way she looks at Diana. That's definitely She's a German like, Shepherd. That is oh, definitely he is such a doll. Hi, sweetie. How Hi, old? So. <laughs> How old? She's, She's old one too. year. Oh, oh one the year baby. Only. Oh, I don't want to Isn't she a doll? You'll always see so her. Gorgeous. Oh, you're so beautiful. She said thank you. Yeah, sweet. I know I am. I know I'm beautiful. Yeah, she's sweet. Um, she, uh, You'll always see her tail kind of wagging in the background if you look at Diana's <laughs> screen, like even small, she's usually there somewhere looking at her adoringly <laughs> because she was a pandemic baby. She, she's a rescue too. She was she's a rescue too, yeah. Yeah, she she's was a rescue. Yes. Yeah, she was returned to the shelter twice. Because of her exuberance. Yeah. I mean, the problem with an exuberant German shepherd is that they got to be trained, right? Because otherwise yeah, they, they just get too yes, excited do. and they think yeah. they're babies and then they jump up on you and they weigh as much as you do and they knock people down. Not because they want to, but because they're exuberant. <laughs> yep. It takes a lot right. of work. Now she tells me she wants to go out. All right. Do you, Diana, you want to take a picture of where your painting is and... Do that. I'm coming, sunshine. 
I can do that. It's it's not. Or you can take Sunny out first and then send us. Okay. It's it's still in the sketch phase. So, Bettina, once you've got this reshaping happening, I can see you can start to take your dark to bring it in here. And then what I like to do is look at, kind of try to mimic the darker lines. Actually, you know what I would do rather than mimic the darker lines? I would darken everything and use your eraser to pull out the lights. Okay. Try that. Because yeah, that when you sense. try to put the darks in, there's more dark than light here. And if you try to put the darks in, they'll kind of pop out too much against this light background. So I would make this whole thing about a four. And then I'd start pulling stuff out with your eraser. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna, I was working on the nose shape just now. Let oh, me just Diana, that's coming along. Diana's painting her little sister and a German shepherd they had when she was a kid. This is a very dynamic pose and um, even in its early stages, it's really coming together. If you guys take a look at it, you'll see, even though there's not that much detail, can you see how Diana's paid very close attention to shape, to negative spaces between things, to angles, to forms. And so this already has, getting the right shapes, this already has a feeling of movement. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh yeah, there you go, Bettina. That looks great. Look at the difference. We're gonna take the little baby out. Take the little baby out. This is looking great. So, and you see, it didn't take that much, right? It didn't take that much like off your original drawing. I see where your ear was. It was about here. Mm -hmm. But everything else you had in exactly the right places. So it's just this kind of constant tweaking that's happened. So yeah, make this whole thing about a four and then go back in with your eraser and start pulling out the light parts. And you'll kind of erase around these little dark edges, maybe here. Look for the biggest light shapes you can find to kind of start this process, right? Like there's this light shape, there's kind of this triangle of shape. The key is always in when you're trying to get texture. I mean, there are people who will do every bit of fur. But as Sandra will tell you, it's incredibly boring <laughs> to do like every like little piece. So I like to look for the biggest shapes where light meets dark, right? And then I just keep going down. I keep micro, I keep going down until I, I get enough, right? Rather, so see how I've kind of outlined these lighter shapes that you can start to pull out with your eraser? Those are where you start. And then from there, you see how much more detail do I have to get to? It's a very practical way to, way to like think about it. I'm glad we're doing this one more session. Uh, and um, Nancy, I think we're gonna do that dog next. I like it. I think we'll do the dog next week. Did you guys see that? Hey, sounds good. Yeah. If any of you want to send in pictures to do animals, I'm happy to take them. Where did you send it? You sent, did you send it to me or did you send it to the group? I sent it to the group. Okay. I'll remind you guys. Next week we'll do, oh yeah, this is gonna be wonderful. So we'll do this one next week. What a, and this will be great for placing noses, eyes. All right, Sandra, do you have yourself a cabinet now or? Well, he, uh, this guy is amazing actually. He's a mirror guy. And I've been talking to him for quite a while while the other ones were messing me about. And yeah. uh, so he had to wait for the stone to be installed to come and measure any. He, and he's gonna actually came to measure but he's going to get me a mirror in a couple of hours which is absolutely amazing normally it can take up a week or several days right wow so that's, that's great. really good and it turns out he's moroccan so he speaks french oh that's great so um, how neat how cool yeah yeah nancy you're almost there i know marcy i know you're there you're almost there i know this seems crazy but we still unless i'm not seeing your entire box 
you still need to bring this shape in to give you a sense. Actually, you know what? For the moment, it's okay. And I like how you, I see how you've located your eye. I think you'll see this. Let's talk about the eyes for a minute. Excellent. I see that you've got your eye. This eye looks really good. And I see that you've got it right above your quarter point, which is where it is. Um, this eye, and you know what, you guys actually really excellent. This is really great. Um, the second eye is kind of like, so here's where the quarter point is, right? So the first eye is right above it and fairly close to this line. The second eye is kind of, if you ran a line through the quarter point, it's kind of half above and half below. And you wanna make sure that it's lined up with your second, the edge is kind of lined up with your second third. So if you divided this middle line into thirds, that eye is kind of contained in that space. I can, you know, you did all of this, Marcy. That's really good. Hold on. Oh, except that you'll want the eye here. I'm going to show this upside down because I want you really to work upside down. I think it's going to be helpful. How do you feel about the placement of this eye? Does it look right to you? Uh, no, maybe too. It should be a little bit this way, right? Okay. If you're looking upside down. So yeah. look here. One, two. Here is where your second third is right here okay so your eye should be on this the right side of that if we're looking at it upside down yeah but you've so got it i'm you do have it pretty much in the right place just move it to the if i'm upside down move it to the right yeah look at it upside down it, yeah. honestly it's going to help you okay it's going to help Very. I know this seems so like this, it's a lot of front end work drawing. You spend a lot of time doing things that the brain resists wanting to do. Why does the left brain not want to do this? It's, it feels tedious, right? It feels hard to do. Um, but the very thing that feels hard to do is what we need to dive into. <laughs> like, so, Yes, welcome to the world of drawing. Torture for the rest of your life. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> However, I like to think of it as challenge for the rest of your life. Keeping your brain active. That's true. Always like staying on your game. <laughs> it's just like. The fun is endless. <laughs> yes. Can I show you mine here? Yes. You want to just hold it up? Yeah. I think I'm gonna need, okay, so a couple of things. You wanna see it Notice, next to a photo? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, let me take a photo. Can you, yeah, let me can send, you send, you a send it across? Uh, what I can see right away mm -hmm. is that the shape on where the big ear is is not quite right. You don't have the big ear, you have the big ear too far out. Um, oh, because you had to move it too far out because it wasn't, it was too far in. Yeah. Let me send it to you. First it's too far in, then it's too far out. <laughs> I was surprised how much too far in it was. Yeah. Yeah, send it over. Today. Thank you, my dear. Okay, so. I'm just looking at it up close. No, I've seen something wrong with it. 
Let's see. I'm looking at a couple of things. One, two, two. Yeah, the you know what, Sandra, this looks pretty. And hold on, I'm just checking. This actually looks pretty good to me. There's going to be one suggestion uh, I'm going to make. His face is a little bit. Here, I'm going to show it to you upside down. On. Um, this eye is a little bit smaller. A touch. Which one? Just a touch. This uh, one. So here. Uh, do you see this? I've got the. Uh... Oh yeah, you've got the other stuff on top of it. So that was the good. eyeball and the stuff on top of it, yeah. I don't know, it looks pretty. I'm just double checking the portions. Hold on. You know, this actually looks pretty good to me. So the only thing I say is this, ah, that's what the problem is. So this shape, the, uh, you've got him, so this shape, you've got it, you've got it to, you've, you're doing this. Okay. That? You're doing that. So I'm gonna do this with a pink pen so you can see what you're doing. You've got this happening where his neck is and his ear is. That's what you've got doing. Notice the shape is down a little bit more. So that helps bring the ear in because you're kind of, his neck is too thick. Okay, but otherwise it's, it's because um, it's because where the neck meets the face, there's some hair there. Yeah, but come in a little bit, let the hair okay. come out. It still is a little too thick, but otherwise, I'm going to say this is pretty great. Bravo. Okay. Bravo. So we'll, we'll see when he's done. <laughs> we'll Sometimes see when he's done, but that's really <laughs> this is actually not bad. Remember, you noticed I was like looking. I'm like, I'm sure this is something really wrong. Nope. <laughs> okay. Thank you. you. <laughs> nope, you got it. This is where you really want to be when your teacher cannot find anything wrong. <laughs> but he's looking hard. <laughs> and he's looking hard. So I'm going to persevere with gouache, even though I find it really hard. Good. I love gouache. I think gouache well, is this. The reason you like it is because you can paint in it like acrylic. And the reason I'm messing it up is I'm painting with it like watercolor. Right. So I'm getting the, I'm getting the texture wrong. It's too watery. I need to right. fix it. You're right. You're absolutely right on that. But yep. I think part of the reason is I started watery yesterday because of not using pencils when I was a bit worried. Right. You were you're playing around with this idea. This is a complex enough sketch that I think it's helpful. I think it's better. At least I'll feel I won't have to worry about going so faint to start with. Just took out, but all the white 
Oh, sorry, honey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Sorry. Let's see here. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't intend. So, Osiris, I love the mark making on here. Um, if you look at this upside down, you're going to sit here. Hold on. My suggestion. You, so this is something that happens quite a lot. Uh, I really like all the mark making that you've done here. This, you'll notice if you look at your drawing upside down, that you have these eyes lined up. And this eye is not only not lined up, it's below the second eye. See that? It's also bigger. So you have yours kind of directly across. And really the second eye is this eye that we're looking at upside down, right? This one here needs to be bigger and down lower. But I love the mark making. I love the darkness that you, I love how you've been working this area. It's quite beautiful. You have a nice way with uh, your, with your, what are you using, charcoal? Nope, just a pencil. Just <laughs> a pencil. You have a really nice soft mark with a pencil. I love okay. the mark making that you get from your pencil. Yeah. It's Thank very you. beautiful. It's like just kind of soothes me as I see it. Well, that's my whole job is to soothe you. <laughs> Thank you. You did it. You got it this morning, baby. You soothe me. <laughs> Soothing the soul. Yes, we've taken, um, uh, I'm the president of this uh, nonprofit called Portland Open Studios, and we've taken our board away for the weekend to a, a little seaside town outside of Portland called Astoria. So we've rented a house, everybody else is still sleeping. We're gonna start work at about, just about an hour after class ends. But I was like, you know, I still can totally teach class. <laughs> so I'm just coming and do it. So um, the rest of my board is sleeping right well, now. Well, thank you for taking oh, some I love time. It. We appreciate that, Leah. I really, thank you so much. Well, and also, um, also, you know, guys, like this should be a thing that I that can be taken anywhere, right? You guys take it places. <laughs> I should be able to take it places too. Um, yeah, I like this well, class. It's an important class. So I don't know how many of you have been traveling recently, but it is not the America that you once knew and loved. How, can you say more? There are no bat, no people to help at the airport anymore, like the. You know, the clean people that used to stand out the bell caps, a lot of that is gone. Um, LAX in particular, when I was coming back home, it's a whole nother hour to go from LAX to an Uber or Lyft spot on a oh shuttle God. because it's so much traffic at the airport. They, it's just too much. Oh, horrible, horrible. So it's like, yeah. I took pictures. So when I get them, but, um, but it's just, it's really disoriented dictating. Because you don't know where you're going. I'm like, well, where are we going? And the guy's like, well, we're going. And they have a lot of construction still going on. 
So it's like a whole nother hour. And then it's another, they drop you off. And then there's another 20 minutes to walk from where the shuttle dropped you off to where the Uber pickup or Lyft pickup is. Is that bad? And then in Dallas, um, they, um, Dallas is so, it's a horror, it's just too big. It's so big. <laughs> you feel like you're walking. It's like big. So, and you know, Texas is really wide and spread out anyway. And, but there's not trees and all of that. It's just concrete and cement. So it's just like really big at the airport, but there were no, there was nobody to help. I just had little Shotan's engine there. People would just show up and say, I'll help you. But there was nobody to help. Wow. Did you uh, fly all your stuff over or did you have it? I, flew, I, I, um, I had, I wrapped all my stuff really, really well. Like I was instructed to do by my mentor. And right. then I had FedEx rewrap it and package it. And then it flew with me in cargo to right. Dallas. And well, it was like a part I said, of it. That's a they lot let of me work. get two on, two on free. And then one box, they charged one fifty four. Right. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, I'm glad you kind of taken it with the, I mean, like I said, I, from what I've heard of these shows, it's more about kind of how, it's a way that Saatchi uses to like, it's kind of like a, now you're in, the, I, I suspect they'll play like they your work up more, right? Yeah, it's a big like promotion. Yeah, they'll promote you. And if you're not, I mean, listen, I'm on Saatchi. Nobody promotes my stuff. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not there. Well, if they, well, they help you. They don't, you don't, I don't you just don't, to me, right. I just can't leave it up to them. But, you know, I, I, but I, I think it's a lot of like one of the people, a lot of the artists, I don't know. I, I made friends with a lot of the artists, but a lot of the artists, the perception of who they are doesn't maybe doesn't allow them to be as free speaking or as open with other people because I don't know where they're coming from but for me my I I deal with a lot of things internally so in order to get it out I'm very spontaneous and I talk to people a whole lot because I have to get energy out I have to run it so you know but one a lot of the artists just didn't they weren't interacting. I don't know if they expected. Yeah, people artists just... aren't generally, they're not generally like you, personality wise. Artists yeah. are generally less interactive. They're more, yeah. they're more introverted. They're not great yeah. salespeople of their work. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then again, it's a heart, it's a skill, right? To learn to sell your work. You kind of have to yeah. work with your personality. You have to extend yeah. out to the people who are coming in. Um, it's a hard, it's hard for a lot of people. That's been, that's sort of the big artist complaint, but I can't imagine you having a problem with that. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, but, but I wanted the people to know what motive, what, why I'm motivated to be that way. And it's because I'm battling a lot of things without medication and drugs and what most right. people depend on, I don't use them, but anyway, so, but, um, it was just really interesting how they had it set up. They had a big area for food. They had a food court in the back corner mm -hmm. but the area for food was big enough because they had it in a big warehouse the dallas market center basically is a big warehouse that they've converted to have shows but they had a big area for food then <laughs> they lied about the dj because i laughed i'm like okay you guys just be honest you couldn't pay the dj so the girl didn't come back so they right. struggled with having music on the floor the whole time jumping from just trying to find people that could DJ to things like that. And in my opinion is because they're all kind of young and they had no one that was experienced to advise. That's how I wow. felt like wow. they didn't really, yeah. they needed somebody with a little bit more wisdom about how to present a show, the timing of the show and everything. They did it in a Mercury retrograde. So the girl laughed. I'm like, I don't know if you believe in Mercury retrograde, take it or leave it. I've charted them over years and they always do this. It's just amazing what they do. So anyway, right. but she, but they, they were vigorous about coming and talking to us and interviewing and making sure that we were encouraged, but not a lot of artists sold anything. It was just, I, and then I don't understand they're having shows like every two or three weeks or something. Where well, I they charge what, a lot of money for their shows. 
You have to pay yeah, a lot of I money mean, to it participate. Costs us much. I had patrons and it cost me almost almost five grand. Yeah, for the it's a lot of money. With nothing sold. With I want you to, and imagine how, of course they're doing it. They're making a lot of money. Jeez. Yeah. Like, why are yeah. you doing shows every two or three weeks? You haven't even promoted, you know, the show. Because the they're glow. charging $5,000 per person. No. That, because they're making a lot of money. I don't like it myself. I, and oh, well, tell- I don't like it. I don't like. I would I don't go like run it back to one of those shows. Um, it you know. feels opportunistic, but uh, who knows? Maybe it'll generate stuff. It is, stuff but it does give way. you. It does give you. If you can make at least one of them or whatever, it does expose you to a lot of people. It does. Right. If you know how to work the exposure, you can work it. I mean, I happen to be on their promo, and I got a lot of hits on my Instagram and stuff because I'm on their promo. I was dancing. They came by and talked, filmed me dancing. I'm like, I'm in pain. I got to do something. You guys are going to make me kill myself out here just standing on the floor looking all day with nothing going on. <laughs> you know, so they were, they were like, you know, so you have to just, I don't know. I didn't put them down, but I wouldn't go back to be trying to drive over there either. Yeah. They better, they better, they better deliver. That's what I have to say, Osiris. They better deliver you something long term. Um, <clears throat> how's everybody doing? Bettina, Francesca? Well, I've been working on shaping the face a little more. Okay. And um, I'll send you, and and I can't do the fur. Not coming out how I thought it was in my head. Let's see. Let's see if I can make some suggestions. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm shaping it. Yeah, it's a bit hard, but yeah. Um, Yeah. I mean, it's also fun, huh? Yeah, it's also fun. By the way, Francesca, it's so fantastic to see you. (laughs) <laughs> thank you <laughs> finally we've heard this charming voice of yours for oh, so thank you long. thank you <laughs> oh but Tina, this is looking better than you think um so i'm liking what's happening and the top yes i see you reshaping the face this is better than you think okay so this, um, and are you working upside down I was, yep. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna look at this upside down. So one of the things is that you'll see um, a little tiny, like your shapes, the shapes aren't all the same size. Right. So you'll see that your mark is making here. If you have a needed eraser, you can pull, you can sort of spin it. I didn't, of course, unfortunately bring one with me, but if you have a needed eraser, you can spin it into a little tiny, thin line and drag it or you can take like the corner like this like the corner of your so you want to work a little bit on the different mark making so I can take the corner of this right as opposed to the front so the front makes a different kind of mark the side makes a different kind of mark um but in terms of this thing is not what the sweeping motion that you've done here with light is not really what's happening. Mm-hmm. What's really happening is there's a light, there's like a two or a two and a half or a three here, right? Maybe two and a half here. There's a two here. In between is four. Um, And then there's little bits of five kind of sprinkled within. So to try and do just one sweeping motion, that doesn't really capture what's happening. Also, look at the shape. So here's where you want to maybe pay attention. So you want to get this guy a little bit lighter, but not super light. There's a little dark edge in here. Maybe create a little bit of ragged texture. And then maybe you want to take... It's hard for me to show, but you want to do a little bit of dark with the side of your, right? A few dark into your lights. Maybe try one, two, or three of these lines, trying to see what's happening kind of over here and see if you get more um, traction. 
um, so it's this trying to sort of define things without really looking at like the direction of the fur, right? Without really looking at how the lights and the darks are hitting, that's problematic. That's like where you start to get into problems when you try to, and, and you do it because you're tired, right? Like you quite simply just do it because you're tired and kind of bored. Fr Sandra was just saying, I don't know if you guys saw, I'm going to share it. Sandra oh, okay. shared this little kitty that she did uh, in pastels, and it, it was it was a workshop, and it was supposed to be done in three days. I took much longer. But you just did it. It was time. really nice. It was really yeah. nice. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah it was Wait. beautiful. Did you send it over to the Saturday group, Sandra, or did you no. send it to the Friday? I'm going to send it. Watch this, you guys. I can't Look at but Sandra, this is what I, I want to see. Where where is where is, I haven't been here. So where is here? It? Hold on, hold on. He's here. I'm going to show you. Where is it? Ah, I can send it to you. Oh, I see it. No, I got it here. I'm going to forward it. Um, so, but I want, but what Sandra said to me was it was so tedious. Before the, <laughs> was so... But, I mean, I enjoyed the face because that's what I like doing. But yeah, when it came yeah, yeah. to the body, I was so bored. The fur is so tedious. <laughs> so, like, so part of it is like, if you do pay attention, this is why I'm like, look at the light dark shapes really look at them and okay. see how they're kind of how their edges look um start with that start with these bigger light darks. start to pay attention to these are really your mid-tones right because they're not exactly white or dark they're kind of middle they're in the middle so that's where you start to kind of handle that okay idea that makes sense i also i think i need a better eraser that has a, an edge that's yeah. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Um, but who? You'll get many erasers. <laughs> I totally agree with you on that one. There's always more tools. This is why artists get more tools. <laughs> also because they like tools. Also because we like tools. We Collecting like tools. tools. You like tools. <laughs> I certainly do. <laughs> but tools is like I'm the to first supplies. thing. <laughs> I'm addicted to supplies. Are you guys addicted to supplies? Completely. Yes, totally. But I used to take them out of the work office and take them home, the markers and stuff. Right? That's the beauty of it because you're like, I like to start you with the simple projects. And, and what I like to do when I take you from um, pencil to charcoal is you'll see what charcoal can do that pencil can't do. And then when we move to ink, wait, because I will take you to ink at some point in this class. I'm going to have to stop calling like this ink class. <laughs> yeah, maybe Inktober. In oh, Francesca, that's really coming along. Oh, yeah, okay. Just keep on yeah, I'm still, uh, I think I, I will need another, another class. <laughs> it's, I'm really get slow. As, but, yeah. Get as far as you can. I'm really okay. loving mark making on this. It's beautiful. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, you might want to, uh, although I see what you did here, it's kind of, so if, so with this contour line here on this side, yeah. you might want to darken all the way and then pull your light in so that okay. what you want is this sort of light to read, right? And the dark to recede. If okay. I have this dark line around the edge, it's kind of pushing it forward a little bit too much. Yeah. Yeah, so go all the way dark around the background. But yeah. this is great. The mark making is great. Yeah, you're you're finding your way. Okay. Um, what you'll um, find is, yeah. No, no, no. By the way, I I tried with the iris, the iris. Uh, oh, the, remember? Oh, uh, changing. Yeah. The uh, and uh, I made the uh, the backdrop uh, yellow. Okay. But. Then I am not able. I don't know how to to do. Uh, like the upper part should be um, should be um, darker. darker, and I don't know how to do it. I mean, I so, don't know whether I should do orange or brown or. I wouldn't do brown. I would do orange more than brown. But like, but, just just try and see what looks. You mean you don't know okay. which color to use or. How to make no? I, I did it. I did it all. Uh, all um, yellow, yellow mm -hmm. but it's. Uh, I mean, it's flat basically. Uh, and I tried with uh, like the, the upper part uh, to put a, uh, a green, 
but mm -hmm. it was not good because it was too many colors. But yeah, um, maybe later I will show it to you. Yeah, send it over in a bit. Okay. Um, there's a couple of ways to handle that. One is to use a little bit of white with your yellow and you can lighten your yellow that way. Okay. I do. Thank you, lovey. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I have to say, I love the Italian accent. Ah. <laughs> yes, we like our Milan influence. Ah, thank you. I can I I can speak in Italian, which should be better. This is our but could be even nicer. It sounds good. <laughs> but Sandra, are you French? Sì, sono francese. E ah, wow. Posso parlare italiano un poco, ma lo dimentico. Oh, oh. oh. You speak quite well. You speak <laughs> well. But I mean, from that, I used to speak it a little bit when I learned Spanish. Ah, okay. Yeah. And then it makes over. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now it. When I tried, I have to make an effort for it to come out in Italian. Always. No, no. I, I totally understand because they are similar, and then. Uh, yeah. It, yeah it happens to me i i learned a little bit of french uh, mm -hmm. because i i i worked in brussels oh uh, where's your face yeah. where are you i'm trying to see your face i can't see and Please. it was like 20 years ago and uh, so i i learned a little bit of french but then i was so bad <laughs> because <laughs> i i normally like use much more english and uh, I, I, I write in English, so I, I should like, I, I'm practicing more English. Right. And my French uh, totally disappeared. But it's a pity because uh, I, I like it very much. I, I like languages. Obviously. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you guys are already working functionally in like four. <laughs> Daniel, which language do you speak, have to speak more of? So Spanish, I'm pretty much fluent. Spanish? Oh, wow. But not like English, you know, but pretty much yeah. fluent. However, then, she doesn't tell you what she does in her off time, which is study Korean. Actually, oh, Korean wow. is my latest endeavor. And I studied German yeah, for two years. I'm trying to learn Mandarin. I, which, one are you try, which one are you trying to learn? I'm trying to learn Mandarin. Which one are you trying to practice? No, Korean. And I, yeah. I learned Japanese for quite a few years, so I've got a yeah. smattering of Japanese. And... Uh, so the Italian is very far back in my life, but uh, I understand it. I totally understand it usually. Mm, um, good. And German, I studied for many years and cannot speak a word pretty much. <laughs> it's, it German wasn't is fun. Wrong. It was, it wasn't, it was difficult. I mean, we had a terrible teacher, a priest who used to ah, beat that, the hell that, out of us. That's the problem, I mean. But it also was very, it's much harder, you know, because it's got declinations and cases. Yeah, I know. I know, like Latin. Yeah, I used yes, to. Yes, exactly. I, I studied, I studied Latin. Latin as well. Yeah. Um, in high school. I like yeah. Latin a lot more than German. I love well, yeah, it's, it's useless. No, but the Latin. Latin. It's the basis yes, it is. But it's very yeah, good it's for the basis, yeah. etymology and where language comes from. You yeah. know, it's very useful. Right. Yeah, but you're right. my teacher used to tell me, no, it's useful. You have to study it because it's well, not for the Bible, but it's it's but... actually I really enjoyed it. I only did like a couple of years of it. But, you know, uh, things have changed because my dad, I only had to do a couple of years of Latin, but he had he studied Greek and Latin for years. Yeah. But, but used to be for um, enjoyment or no, no it was no. compulsory. Mm. Yeah, I ate my breakfast. Yes, she did. Yeah. Good. It was compulsory for my grandparents' generation. Yeah, but in Italy, if you if you want to study, it depends what you want to study. If you decided to study uh, to go for a like literature, liter or yeah, literature uh, background, uh, ph ph philosophy, and so on, uh, you have a nice school where you will uh, study a lot of Greek. Uh, ancient Greek and the Latin. Uh, otherwise, if you choose uh, like nice. scientific uh, studies, uh, you study Latin, but you, you don't study Greek. So it depends what you what decide. Did, may I ask a question? 
what language do you guys think is you should because I'm studying because of China is so influential. I've been trying to study more of the Asian languages, but it, so China but is, you, Chinese is, is very one hard. You should choose because um, it's got it's a tonal language, right? Yeah, it's totally so, different. So, but, but it's got these tones, so it's yeah. very hard. Out of the Asian languages, it's probably one of the hardest, right? Um, Whereas uh, Korean, Korean actually, the grammar is very similar to Japanese. I'm okay with that. Korean is uh, has got an easier alphabet. Um, mm, it's soft. Japanese, but it's a bit difficult to pronounce because the sounds are not the same as ours. They are like a, like the they have something in between a G and a K, and in between uh -huh. a B and an M, and it's neither mm. one. Interesting. Um, like uh, like Japanese, the R and the L are like a bit mixed up. It's not, yeah, I'm feeling so inadequate right now. <laughs> you know, they're starting to. If you go on Instagram, they're starting to teach more of their languages because that's what I do. I go on there, and the Ch the Korean people are teaching you how to say their language. There's a kid on there that teaches. He's always talking to his mother, so that's the oh, way. Oh, really? On Instagram, because I oh, go yeah. on YouTube sometimes. Yeah. Although I take I take lessons with the embassy. Oh, yeah. well, you have an you're advantage. seeing a lot of the uh, Native American languages, in, oh, the indigenous languages are being uh, brought out. Uh, Everybody's on bringing it out. I love it. I love it. It's pretty cool. But I don't, you know, I mean, it's just like everything on Instagram. You know, it's one, it's one minute. You won't learn it that way, but at least it's being, oh, Nancy, very nice. Keep on going. This is good. Excellent. I want to, I want to really credit you. Excellent kind of um, moving around of your lights and your mediums and your darks. I see you haven't gotten stuck in any one area. I can see that you've just kept moving around. Um, excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. I feel like it doesn't look like the model yet, but I'm working. Um, so try adding a little bit more detail Let's see, where would it be the most beneficial? I'm looking at it. It's actually helpful for me to look at it upside down when I'm looking at this. Face is looking good, nose is looking good. Mm, I'm looking, I really like, there's a couple of stripey areas you can kind of, but yeah, it's mostly I just started over the eye that yep. you're pointing at. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep the other uh, those one. Are the, and what I really see is that you're working the areas that you can see. And that is like super impressive. Yeah, you know, truthfully, get some more of the soft light tufts here. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I might actually use your background to, you're, you know, you're doing it. Just keep doing it. Just keep okay. getting kind of smaller and smaller areas. Right. Okay. That's excellent. Bravo. <laughs> I feel like something just happened here. You made a shift. I can. I feel like you just made a shift um, that's very important and going to serve you well in drawing in your future. Very nicely done. Like everyone is here doing. And that's why I thought it was worth it to spend just a little more time on this subject because I thought there's things we can work on. In a good mood, Leah. Yeah, I'm in a beautiful yeah, plenty spot. Plenty of coffee. I've had plenty of coffee. I'm in a coffee shop. I've had plenty <laughs> a of coffee. Shop. I just had lunch. I had some breakfast delivered to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surrounded by really cute dogs. <laughs> it's a pretty dog. good life. I won't take her. <laughs> oh, so, oh, yeah. Oh, and Audrey walked in. Really cute ceramicist, too. Here, come take a look at this cute little ceramicist that's here. <laughs> that's you know, the boy drawing girl, this. Here, hold on. Here's Audrey. Uh, girl, I, 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 I know. They're just totally, they're looking with disgust at my, can, at my, my setup. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's good. It's very dirty. It These works. Girls, uh, no, if you saw my computer right now, you'd be like, what are you doing with that? <laughs> yeah, I'll, so I'll actually, would you guys like see a little spin of the studio? I can't go into the coffee shop because it's they don't stream in there. But I so can you totally... actually have a studio in, set up in there? Yeah, it's a studio and a coffee shop space. I'll show you here. But, hold on. But Let's do a little. Come in the studio in the coffee shop. 
Um, because they, uh, because they, it's really a gallery. So a gallery with uh. coffee shop in it. And so the gallery part is the kind of public part. And then next to it, which is where I am. Um, here, hold on. I'm going to turn us around. Hold on. I'll take you on a little tour as far as I can go. So here is their studio. So they have a studio space. Here is Carista. Carista is Are my abstract the, art the, teacher. Was hmm? that the cat on the wow. couch? There's no cat. Very nice. No cat. Wow. That's is, really nice. So Carista is my abstract art teacher. We've recently stopped. She's been really busy. So we're recently at a good friend. And she's also my gallerist. And she's the executive director for the, the uh, nonprofit. So we do a lot of creative projects together. So this is her creative space. Here's Patchouli, the naughty dog. So this is a pretty good and if you can see that doorway there there's audrey she's waving to you from the hey, door mm -hmm. that's nice. the oh, very space. nice <laughs> there's Tam. where you want to spend time there oh yeah it's beautiful these guys are really beautiful i'm not going to go into the gallery because i they don't like streaming in there but here's audrey audrey is a ceramicist so this is audrey's section wow so how far away is that from your house? Uh, about, and look at here's the kiln. There's their here's their kiln. Here's a it's about an hour and a half drive, maybe two hours. Oh, so that's far away. Yeah, it's dedicated. Far. It's dedicated. a little seaside resort town, a sort of um, you know, tourist. So town. how far are you from the sea? Yeah. Look at this is Audrey's work. Look at that, aren't they the cutest? <laughs> How far are we from the sea? Love We're right here. You, We're right on you personally, seat. you personally. Oh, uh, about it, about two hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's snacks getting Except a little. If you come here, then it's only an hour and a half. Right, right. So it's a nice, so you can see, I'm in a really beautiful spot. They've just done a beautiful, and then you can see here, you can actually see through the door. Can you see that? Those are my paintings. Oh, it's another door. And then over here, they took one of my paintings and blew it up and made it their coffee shop. Can you see that? That wall? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's as far as I'm going to go because I do. Prom they do have a strict rule on this. No phones. Not because the... people don't want to be. Yeah, listen to like, yeah, you don't want to be filmed. You don't want to listen to, you know. What can I? Yeah, they don't want to be filmed. Yeah. Can I and... share something with you too, you guys? Yeah. Um, people are going around and taking photos of people's work and then printing them. Yes. No. That happens. Oh, yes. That happens quite a lot. People are getting really strict about getting their work filmed. Yeah. It's pretty gross. I have I know. a friend. What's, yeah. I'm worried about this. I have a friend who's quite successful as an artist. He lives in LA and he does, he can do anything. But he does beautiful watercolors, which he sells on his Etsy shop. And he recently found out that a friend of his was literally printing the watercolors that he did out on a that color was... printer and adding two strokes of reg their watercolor. And then she was reselling them. No. This was his friend? I was going to be a friend. It's a yeah. horrible person. Yeah, she's yeah, an absolutely horrible person. But that, that stuff is happening. It's kind of what happens. People start to copy you. People, if people, uh, uh, when you start doing well, people start to copy, and that is part of the deal. It's gross, but it's absolutely the way it is. Well, there's a difference between copying you and actually stealing. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, and well, I think copying is a kind of form of stealing, and yeah, and then there's the direct, I'm going to take your image and just change it a little bit. Yeah, it's bullshit. Um, they also have this really cool show right now here I'll show you they've got a couple pieces back here we've got an artist who is a Portland artist who is um, really lovely and quite large so she does kind of large women planters I don't know if you can see these I really love them. I own one or two myself. She does kind of boobs. <laughs> like, 
and she put succulents in them and I think this one just sold so she there's a whole exhibition of these in the in the gallery they're really beautiful so that's kind of making the art less serious so it's not so yeah and it's also just taking a voice it's also it's it's also talking sort of challenging this idea that you know the body yeah. to be beautiful has to be thin yeah it's True. like sort of celebrating the True. the actual bodies of real people and bigger people that she is an absolutely adorable this artist is uh, she's in open studios every year she's in my event every year so i know her well she's beautiful she's a, she's a charming beautiful woman and she's very fat you know she's fat um and she's stunning She's absolutely gorgeous. So it's her way of kind so of. What is it that makes her gorgeous? Do you think she's beautiful? She's just beautiful. It's her beautiful face. Yes, pretty, skin, just a pretty girl. Happy, beautiful, happy person. She's actually. Uh oh. Oh, it looks like my tablet just stopped. There yeah, it did. Okay. Guys, I think you may have to. I'm going to try and put my phone. Let's see. Hold on. See if I can get on. In another way. Can you hear that? That's all. Yeah. Yes. All their we regulars the coming in. <laughs> That's all their regulars coming in. Let me get, see if I can get my phone. Uh, Let's see if I can get this in. Okay, so it's going to be tricky for me to see this. I'm going to have you guys. Um, yeah, I think I can get. All right. Let's see. So where is his mouth? Where is? Right here. It's uh, below the nose. Underneath. And you see yeah. a little bit of it on the right side if you're looking at it the right way up. Here, hold on. I'm going to spotlight it's this. It's his mouth okay. corner. Yeah, there we go. Well, um, so now it's the left where you can see. Well, I'm trying to move this. Yeah, I didn't know if it's, it's his nose or his mouth. I'm, I'm, so it's his nose. His mouth is below. But you okay. can see. Kind of here. Yeah, but okay. you can see on the left, on the on, so on the right hand side, that bit there, to the bottom right of his nose, that's his mouth. Yeah. No, put it back. Oh, this one. Yes. Can you see? Can you point to the mouth? Right here. No. Oh, move, ah. to right. move to the right. And then oh. over here. That's it. There's ah. his mouth line corner. Right here. Where's his mouth? Okay, guys. Under, his, under mouth. his nose, and then that's his corner. So you guys have this picture. I now am using my phone. Or I can't take any more pictures because I'm using my phone to show you this. If you want me to, I can just stick this here. If everybody feels like they've got their shapes, maybe I'll just put this yeah, one pretty. so that you can see more of the, yes, the, the, um, the marks, the sort of beginning marks do obscure some of the detail. I'll be right back. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, actually, in truth, I'm trying to get this out, that the reflection out so you can at least see everything. In truth, my phone is actually a much better camera than my tablet, but I do need the phone to generally. So if anybody wants to show me anything, just let me know and I'll pop you up on the screen and you'll just hold it up. I sent something. I changed it a little okay. already. Though. Okay, send it. Uh, hold it up. Hold it up. Add you up. Yeah, yeah. Hold it up. 
Uh, back up, back, back, back. Oh, Bettina, that's really wow. kind of long. Oh, I wow. love oh, wow. the mark yeah. making that, that you're doing good. in that sort of, you're getting there. You're really getting there. You're getting it. Good work. That's all I have to say. I <laughs> keep on like working around those edges and then give it up. You know, we'll end in 20 minutes. So just give yourself another 20 minutes of the hard work of trying to get that detail and understand that and now when somebody says to you, oh, but you're just naturally good at that, you can give them the glare. <laughs> you mm -hmm. can say, I worked hard to get here. This isn't natural. <laughs> I don't care what they think. Right. But it's, a, it's a compliment anyway. It's a co yes, of course. Of course, it's a compliment. But remember, you worked hard to get here. There's nothing natural about this. This is about you working hard. Anybody can, just like uh, the way I think. Uh, yeah, some people have natural ability, but otherwise, most of the time, if you if you're any good at anything, it's hard work. It's because it, I think what happens is you have a natural affinity, which will push you towards something to make you work hard. Uh, I assume you're like this with languages, Sandra and Francis. Yes, I like right. You're like that with languages. So you push towards it. But if anybody told you that you were just easy, the languages were easy for you, that would be kind of dismissive of the amount of work you've put into learning the language. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you're, I think what we have, I think like you have an, a desire to do it. If you have a desire to do it, you have a little bit of a talent for it. But talent is nothing if you don't have skill. And so skill that, only comes if you, with and if you don't work. have exactly practice. Yeah, yeah if you don't practice. have skill, you can't get skill without practice, without many hours. Um, so that's what it's kind of about. It's the same like, for athletes. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so you guys are developing that skill. You know, some people will be better at, you know, the nice thing about art is that there's so many different ways of doing it. Some people, like I, for example, am kind of hopeless at three-dimensional art, I think. I haven't really spent much time. I don't feel myself drawn to, although I love like ceramics work, like I'm here <laughs> watching people work right now. It's amazing to watch, but it feels hard for me. But would I be good at it? I don't know. Maybe I would if I would like spend some time doing it, or maybe I would. Of course, you, know. you would if you spend time doing it. Sure, I'd be better. You could get better. <laughs> if it's hard, <laughs> you know if it's hard it's go get zero. it. If it's hard, if it's hard, go do it. Right, that's art. So the nice thing about art is there's a lot of things you you will notice that not everybody's good at everything, but everybody who's doing it is good at one aspect of it, at least. That part is kind of easy. For some people, color is easy. For other people, it is not. Uh, for some people, the brush is easier than the pen or the pencil. For other people, the pencil is better. For some people, clay is a better medium or bronze or this, you know what I mean? Like for some people, it's easier to construct things in 3D than to draw them. Um, they're all, but it's all valid and you have to push all the, you know, you still have to develop um, I don't think of myself as a drawer, really, per se, although my drawing's gotten much better. I think of myself as a painter, naturally. Um, there's a lot of things I do naturally with the brush and with color that I struggle with, with the pencil and charcoal and all of that stuff. So I had to push myself to learn to draw because if the type of painting I do requires it, right? I'm required to be able to draw because I do figurative work, um, sometimes really detailed, depending on if it's a commission or, you know what I mean, like whatever, whatever it is I'm working on. So, um, so that's, I mean, you push the thing, you're kind of incentivized. I became incentivized to draw once I saw how it would impact positively my painting. And when I describe it to you, I describe it to you like a drawer. It's why I prefer charcoal over pencil because charcoal is more painterly. Pencil is more um, contour drawing. There are other people who would teach this class differently who are more into the pencil and what I can do. So it's an interesting, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's different strokes, different folks. 
good at some things, but not good at other things. And the things that you're good at. Why can't you just do all of them? I can. I can. You can. You have to. You have to. That's my point. You have to do all of them. If you're going to be an artist, ultimately, you have to do all of them. But it helps to have some things that you're good at so that you can kind of easily dive into them um, and kind of continue and, you know, do an exploration on your own. It actually was always much harder for me to teach painting than it is to teach drawing because drawing was so hard for me. I really had to um, uh, step by step the process. Painting is so natural to me. There's a lot of things I do that I, I, I don't even know that I'm doing. So it's been harder to learn how to teach people to paint than to teach people to draw. Uh, other people would say different things. You know, other artists would have different experiences. Leah, can I hold mine up and you can tell me about the nose? Absolutely. <laughs> hold on. Okay, let's see. I just think that um, that dark, so let's see if I can point this out. So if you look here, and once again, I'm gonna turn it upside down because I think it's a little easier to see. Nancy, I'll show you what's off. It's just one little I think little I thing. just saw it, but Did yes, you see I'm it? watching. That little I, I'm dark watching. triangle shape here, yep. it's just down too low. Yeah. That's it, isn't that interesting? That's it. Yeah, it's I'll called that the only problem. It needs to connect to this right up here that goes around the eye. That's all. Nice work. It's funny. Sometimes you just have to hold it up and look at it to see. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just have to so. take a picture and then you'll see. Just, just holding it up helps. It looks hard. It's harder than what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's what, so hard. Can you see mine? Am I doing better? I'm rusty. It looks great. I love your mark making, like I said. Here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks great. Keep going. Just keep going. Keep going, my darlings. That's all you need to do. It's a it's a little bit tedious. I like to think of that. I always imagine when I'm saying that. It's Diana. a little bit country. Yeah. It's a little bit rock and roll. Oh, it's a little say. bit tedious drawing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it gets into your soul. Don't hey, Diana. Know if it's good. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I still have that big <laughs> box of brand new acrylic paints for you. Oh, great. I pulled it out, but I didn't. I got stuck. I didn't know where to go. But on what? Sunday, I will be at Crescent Heights and Sunset at around um, 11 30. If you want to drop by there, I don't know. Where you... Sunday, I, tomorrow, I can't love your, go your anywhere. But well, tomorrow's Saturday. But on Sunday, or... no, today's Saturday. Yeah. Oh, today's, that's right. Yeah, I can't do anything tomorrow. But... Well, can you let me know when you just let me know? You Tuesday, let me know. Where, where do you live? I live in Van Nuys. Oh, so I could pass, you know, I'm in Chatsworth, so. Oh, you could come by me. <laughs> I can stop by on my way cool. to work. Will you I'm, just let me know? Tuesday? Are you Tuesday is cool, yeah. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Diana will be in the office working with her new bookkeeper. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. I will. I have to go to the office much more now for a little while. Uh, COVID? Because of post COVID? No, because I'm training a new. She's training at Bookkeeper. Oh, yeah. I saw you guys hiring. We're asking to hire some. Yeah. Oh. So you so you don't want to hear me keep singing my song about it's no, a little ahead. bit tedious. <laughs> it's a little bit boring. <laughs> uh, Carissa did and Audrey did bring over their karaoke machine last night, so we spent a lot of time singing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's oh, a great cool. to open. Yeah, I, I'm with Eight. you, Sandra. <laughs> a board retreat. It was my sister is very awesome. really much into karaoke. She's really good at it, but it's all these French songs, but I don't know. <laughs> 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 
you know what I mean, like with sort of variety. Quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I have trouble with um, gouache. Hold it up. Because I find the watercolor, it kind of does the texture for you. Yes, gouache but is less. Gouache so. is flat and the edges. Can I hold it up and see? Yeah, see hold it up. I mean? It a, it yep, yep, terrible. I see what you're doing. So have see, you that, tried? That mess that... Yep. Have you tried using a little bit more water with your gouache? Well, that's a thing I'm using, in fact, too much water. Ah, uh, maybe that's the problem. So you know, I, I still think Sandra that and I think water that, color uh, is a, huh? Presumably acrylic is like this. Uh it's not like acrylic is more um it's a it's a weird, it's not quite like acrylic. You can layer a little bit of white on top, but I think gouache benefits from a watercolor underpainting. I was and just then, gonna, I was just going to say, I think, yeah, a watercolor yeah. underpainting, and then just touches where you yeah, want a little exactly. bit more solidity and yeah. a little bit more lightness. So in fact, you're telling me to do watercolor and then just do watercolor yes. and then end with gouache. But, and, but yet, yeah. yet you say this, but. Mm -hmm. uh, I look on YouTube and I see people doing the whole painting in gouache sure, and it's fantastic. But I mean, but I, I'm just yeah. <laughs> I I I'm like you, Leah. I think gouache is fantastic to combine yeah. with what to finish to yeah. finish things, but not yeah. to. I have yeah. built whole paintings in gouache, but you really need to have an understanding, a kind of deep understanding of acrylic for it to really work well. Now that doesn't mean you thing shouldn't do it. It doesn't mean people can't do it, but to me, the I'm always it, for me, Sandra, when I'm thinking about like what you already have in your tool belt, it's like and the way and the way I approach gouache, it really is just as a finishing, as a finishing. Yeah, because thing. it's um, a watercolor. It's flat. That's a thing. On its own, it can be kind of flat. It's not so what so acrylic is more transparent. It's got less opacity. It's a little bit brighter. And the way you can layer it, of course, it's more durable. But gouache, if you do too much layering, it looks flat, particularly. Well, I mean, I'm not, I haven't layered at all. But I, I but agree with like... you that the watercolor does such beautiful mark making. Like with one stroke, you get so much. Yes, bang and, um, for the dollar. Why not use that? And then the gouache is what I use to lighten things. Gouache is what I use to strengthen sometimes a line or an area. Um, I can you can sometimes lighten an area that's gone too dark in watercolor. You can add gouache on top to bright, you know, but even so, yeah, it's not as trans. It it is. It's a little bit. Well, it, it's not its meant own. to be transparent at all. No, but, it's opaque. But, uh, it's more opaque. It's it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not as appealing as watercolor. So that would be my well, suggestion. But some people do fantastic work with it from end to finish. Well, yeah, but they've been doing it for years and years. So it's just you have to decide it's, you're going to work with it and watch it. That's know, the thing. It. It's it's that bit I'm not grasping out to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the question is, how much time do you have to really do? And also, coming from watercolor is different in going to gouache is different than coming from acrylic and going to gouache. So I can use gouache pretty effectively because I've come from an acrylic oil exactly. background. It's, it's a lot yeah. of information. There's a lot in terms of layering and brushwork and not to it putting too much color in one it, you know what I mean? Like that's that's not really easy to do. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm not saying people don't do it, but the people who do it spend all their time doing it and they have a basis in this in working with a similar medium. Watercolor really isn't similar. It's, it's like uh, a, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a hard, it's a big curve. For the yeah, color. yeah. If you want to do it though, do it because I trust you <laughs> that like you know your way, right? You have, you found that you knew that watercolor was going to be good for you and you have worked very hard and you're continuing to work hard on that. Gouache can be great for you, but it is a new learning curve. So that's the only thing. Maybe uh, it's not as suited to animals. 
No, it's suited. It's just it's just a use thing. It's just learning how to use it. Okay. You didn't know how to use you know watercolor at first, right? You learned. Think about all of the learning you did with watercolor. It's just with oh. It's the same thing. A different learning curve, but it's. I just... was hoping to because I was hoping that watercolor would help me more, and it isn't at all. Watercolor would help you more. What do you mean? Yes. I was hoping that watercolor will help you with gouache more. Oh no, it's too different. They're very different. They're different. Watercolor is a transparent medium. Gouache is a opaque. opaque medium. So they they really are quite different. But they combine well if you use gouache appropriately yeah, they on really top of watercolor. Do. So that would be my recommendation for doing it. Not using the whole thing, but just ending with gouache. I think you'll find the maybe I need to paint other things on animals first things that are easier simpler things like with less texture yeah sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that might be a good that, yeah maybe try your flowers or something or fruit fruit yeah or fruit is pretty yeah because it's got some nice textures um yeah diana just spent a whole like just spent a whole bunch of time painting her garden the flowers and fruit yeah i did <laughs> So it's, but it's there, but it is a very different process and it's easier to come to if you have a pretty solid understanding of acrylic and oil painting. Yeah, it's whereas, much easier to do. Because in a way, it's sort of reminding me what I don't like about acrylic. Right. Or what you're, so yeah, what, yeah, right, right, Osiris. <laughs> Absolutely. What, what did Osiris say? I wish I could. I tried. It just didn't like me, and I didn't like it either. Uh, That's why I'm giving. No, because um, I have a story with how I got into art because I really didn't like art or anything. But the woman that died and left me her entire art studio because she worked with children. I think they used a lot of acrylic, and so it was what I had in front of me. But when I touched the use acrylic, it was like it felt like I knew it or something or. It felt like it was familiar or it was, it's weird, the sensation I have. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have anything against acrylic. It just doesn't seem, we don't get along or something. So you like oil better? It yeah. seems to be, it seems to speak to me in some sort of way. I think that's a totally valid response. And because we're close to the end, I'm going to pull you out of the spotlight. I want you guys to go into gallery view. And I want you to hold up your drawing. Your Wherever thing. You got to. <laughs> Hold up your stuff. Hold it up. Can we go in gallery? Yeah, go into gallery. Oh, Diana, that's coming along. You guys, these are incredible. Do not doubt the amount of work you got. Yeah. And Nancy and Marcy, look at you guys like are catching up. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, so sometimes we're going to do this. Sometimes we're going to work on a subject for two sessions because there's some value in it. And what Osira says is really true. Different materials will speak to people differently. Um, Diana is much more of an acrylic person because she likes to work very fast and she's got a lot of skill with it. She likes, she doesn't want to muck around with drying things. It doesn't like chemicals. Oils have different, I mean, but some people really love oils and I've used both. So I get it. I'm in an acrylic phase right now because I'm trying to produce a lot of work, but when I'm not, when I'm not in as much of a rush, I really love oil. It's different. It is. You know different. what? I, and I love gouache. I like gouache too. I have such an affinity with oil though. I can literally not paint for three days and then go and lay out like six oil paintings all at one time yep. in a very yep. little space. And I just think it's because I, it's something we have in common. I have in common with, it. with the oil. Yeah. So you'll find different things. And I think watercolor, Sandra, suits you very well. Um, it's different than what you were doing before, but it suits your learning process well. So I guess what I would just say is trust the, if the process is telling you go towards gouache, maybe that's what no, but, you do. Yeah. But it was maybe hard. the process is just saying add gouache. It looked terrible, my watercolor. Yeah. 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 All right, you guys, from all over the globe, thank you for joining me this morning. <laughs> really yeah. wonderful work. Ciao. Such a wonderful Bye. work. Ciao. I missed everyone. Bye. Great work. Bye. We'll see y'all next Bye. week. Bye, guys. Great work. Have a good week. Everyone stay Ciao. safe. Yes. <laughs> Ciao